honking tires, roaring engines, and the addictive thrill of speed. They're available to anyone with three days time, a few hundred spare dollars, and the courage to climb into a race car. About 60% of our students are coming into the school are just Walter Mitty. They just want to try it one time and see what it's about. It's an awful expensive sport to get into. People like Danny Dayton. He's a local heavy equipment salesman who signed up for racing school on the recommendation of friends. Just to know the knowledge, know you can get the car and drive it is kind of fun. You know? and that's really about all I'm looking for. But Danny quickly went about building a reputation here, charging into corners. All right, yeah, Dan's looking good. Dashing down straightaways. And losing control. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> well, Dan, you got a heck of a, uh, uh, of a score from the judges over here. There is no competitive racing in this school, but drivers are taught to take cars to the limit, and sometimes they go beyond. This one hit the wall. It's that kind of freedom that attracts people like Danny Dayton. You, you really get a feel for what, for what the big time drivers do. There's a lot more to driving one of these cars than you think. Dan's been living up to his uh, le legend. And along with the thrills and spills, there is education. Scaring the hell out of us. <laughs> okay, but you're, you're doing real good. Danny is probably uh, in the upper end of the uh, the type of student we get on a uh, on a scale of one to ten he's probably about an eight this school has produced professional race drivers and has had big name instructors like Danny Sullivan and John Paul jr. but if anything it's a little like a summer camp for race fans Maybe camp for older children, I guess, the way to put it. Uh, we have, uh, our children are all mostly in their 30s. <laughs> I'm having a blast. It's uh, uh, probably the most fun I've had in a long time. <laughs>